people and welcome to another edition of just trending news if you haven't done so already please subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell so you're always notified when i upload new videos so today we're speaking everything that's related to king swati the third if you don't know who he is then basically he is the last standing monarch on the african continent and also the king of the kingdom of swaziland or also the kingdom of eswatini more formally known and the reason why he is trending is largely because of uh, the pro-democracy protests that have been happening in Swaziland and him fleeing as a result of this. So these protests are happening in Swaziland purely because people are angered by economic decline and they have been becoming increasingly vocal in demanding political reform in Swaziland. So the Swatis are also demanding an elected prime minister under a constitutional monarch and freedom of speech amongst other things. Another reason why the Swati people are actually protesting is purely because of police brutality in the kingdom. So this happened after the death of Tobanin Komanye who was a final year law student at the University of Eswatini and was allegedly killed by police who also allegedly tried to hide his death and tamper with evidence so that is another reason why um, people are protesting Pure, and also another reason why people are protesting is also due to the fact that people are very very sick and tired of this long-standing monarch and this absolute monarch as the country has been ruled by a succession of kings um, since it was established and since it gained independence okay so o king Mswati III the third was crowned in 1986 at the age of 18 years old succeeding his long-serving father o king sopuza the second who died at the age of 82 and he reportedly rules by decree and has been criticized for heavy-handed treatment of opponents and for also requesting public money to pay for new palaces and luxury cars so as you know o king Mswati the third is very very notorious for living life um, on the edge living a luxurious life and also he's one of the kings or the most popular or publicly known kings that have had a lot of wives I think he's got about 12 or 13 but I speak under correction so basically people are just tired of no political reform in the country they're tired of the king's lavish lifestyle they're tired of um, opponents largely being silenced in Swaziland and they're also tired of police brutality and that is why people have decided to protest and these protests are actually gaining momentum and the reason why Swaziland is trending on Twitter is purely because the people want the people of Swaziland to get support for everything that they're trying to fight because you know that Africa must unite and we actually have to fight together and help these people in order to actually overturn and possibly even you know overturn the monarch as it stands so they can get political reform and this elected prime minister that they want so anyways ladies and gentlemen that was in a nutshell in a very short three minute video of why swaziland is trending and why king swati the third is also trending obviously he's very very scared at this point because he thinks that people might actually um try to physically harm him because protesters are actually very very angered and they're actually you know this time they're actually very very serious about trying to get um economic reform so that was it in a nutshell the reason why swaziland is trending i'm so so sorry for rambling i feel like i've been rambling for three minutes but thank you very much for listening to this video if you got to the end of this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe and do all those nice things and i'll see you again in my next upload goodbye lovely